Mike. <clears throat> Once again, here we are playing RPG on all, you can see. Uh, same things as the last video. I have not uploaded that video yet. So, um, yeah. Uh, good thing to note if you are wondering all the different spots to store stuff. You have your storage chest, which all storage chests are identical, including the one on Tutorial Island. Uh, you have your island cabinets and your pet human. Um, I'm going to be quickly going over all the stuff you need to make a farm on your island. Uh, hopefully this goes fairly fast. Because it's currently uh, quarter to 11 and they close here at midnight. I apologize for the noise. It is a public area. So, a lot of people ask, where can I sell this item? Well, if you have your mods loaded, which I went over in the previous video, you can right-click an item and you can see the vendor name and their look. <laughs> He's having trouble finding his items, his armor specifically. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually trying to sell potion of carpentry and potion of farming. Ah. Sometimes this happens. What it is, is this is actually working right. Uh, this is using the right-click context menu and the in-game wiki mod. There's also the chat command variant, which would be... Wiki NPC item small potion. Ah, okay, so... All the small potions are sold in, and bought in Revolve, but not all variants of small potions. Wiki item name small potion. As you can see. <laughs> So, for these, I can sell them in Revolve, but these don't have a buyer. So what do I do for that? Well, I have to go to a place called No Man's Land, commonly referred to as NML. This is, um... Uh, this is your minimap menu, and this this everyone has, you know? You just click your minimap and this pops up. You can see, you know, you got the skeleton dungeon, that's where you mine iron. There's the mining guild, it even says right there, 65 mining. Um, and again, that's where you find iron. There's oak trees right in that area. Um, that's the steel harpoon fishing spot. You got net fishing, fishing rod down there is a fishing cave spot. Uh, there's Mosh One. There's Revolve Map. That's actually where you go to uh, buy and sell iron and gold. Uh, here is where you sell silver. By the way, there's bronze. That's where you buy all your bronze gear. That's where you buy your silver jewelry. But I actually have some pretty decent offers in the market, so feel free to check it out. Uh, diamond is really good. There's also, apart from diamond, there's uh, sapphire for defense, emerald for aim, which uh, is converted two to one to accuracy, ruby for strength, and crystal for archery. Uh, I know there's one I'm forgetting. Silver. Fire, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond. Oh, no, I think I covered them all, actually. Um, em no, Emerald is magic. Sapphire is defense. Okay, so we want the world map. We want to find out where we can sell this stuff. 
We have to go there. Okay? That's a no man's land. So it says we have to go to the far side of Wyland, and we're currently here. Okay, so we go to here on this map. It takes us there. Then we go navigate our way through, go to here, and then we go there. I won't do that on screen. I'll actually do that later tonight. But that's where I'm going to end up heading. Um, that's going to be quite a hike. Kind of dangerous. Um, there's some mobs that actually will aggro you along the way, no matter what combat level you are. Another thing to note, I'm combat level 85. That means anything 65 and lower will not aggro me unless I'm in a party quest or an ML. No man's land. Um, there, it doesn't matter what your combat level is. Another thing to note, Dorpat map has a lot of different spots leading to Dungeon 1. So you got like the mining guild right here, it's right there. Dorpat town right there. You got the skeleton mine where you can mine iron, that's right there. You'll notice they're all in this region, but you can't just walk through there. Okay, that's because it's gated off right about, uh, let's see. Yeah, right there. It's gated off right there. You can't get through. There is no way through. You have to go around. You have to go back up the ladder, come over to here, climb down, and then you can mine iron right there. Literally, right there. You just go right through, avoid the vampires and skeletons, and make sure you don't go into the hydras over here. And you just, you mine iron, and you come back, and you deposit it there, and you go back. You don't actually need to fight anything. You just back and forth, back and forth. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, so, anyway, if you right click an item, check Wiki NPC, it'll pop up, it'll tell you the name. If you do it and it says absolutely nothing, it's just blank. There's a reason for that. It's because there is no results. Okay. Now, let's say there's multiple results. It'll tell you multiple names. As you can see, you can buy a rake from any of these farmers. And the same for Island D. You can buy an Island D from any of the three farmers. There's only three. So, <laughs> yeah. They all three sell Island D. What about soil? Does anyone sell soil? No. You have to make soil. That's the easiest way. Or you can buy it, but it's a lot, a lot better. Just make it. Now, these two values right here, that's raw. You do not earn that much. You actually earn less. That is for the medium and large vial crafting of soil. The superior vial of water should be able, it, it should be correct, but you need to have uh, quite a bit of uh, crafting experience to be able to actually craft those so that you can make them. And that would be level 65. Um, once you have level 65 alchemy, you can uh, craft them 20% chance. At 75, you get a 30% chance. That's the limit. But um, you need that much in order to be able to equip it. And it doesn't tell you that here. It just says level 1, you can... Uh, you can fill it at the well. Well, that's true. You can at the well at level 1, but you need 65 in order to equip it. Just like you can upgrade it at level 1 forging, but you still need level 65 to equip it. And there's a lot of different recipes, but we're going to cover this one. We want the small file. And for that, for that, we're going to want to check out this crafting recipe. Well, this crafting recipe says you fill it at the water well with one experience, but to make it, you only get a 30% base value at level 1. That means at level 11, you get a 40% chance to turn two sand into one vial. And the, the sand gets consumed when you smelt it, because it's at a furnace, so you're smelting. And then you fill it up at the water well, and you get the small vial of water. And let's say I wanted to make it into this vial. Um, one thing to note is 
The vials do get consumed in the attempt. So if you fail to make the potion, you lose the vial. So that 50 to 70% chance to make this potion uh, using Yarrow, which is farmed, um, that actually is like, it, it's the inverse number for how often I'm going to lose the vial entirely. If I get it, then I can drink the potion and I'll have an empty vial left over. And then I fill it back up at a water well, which we got a water well right over here. I can go check it out. Here's the jewelry NPC. Feel free to check him out for prices. Water well. Go ahead and turn on full screen. Okay. So, water well. Used to fill empty vials with water. And you can also use it to refill your water. Now, one thing to note. All of your watering cans have a shared inventory. Uh, contains 19 out of 20 units. Okay, so I need to refill it. And you can see, I equip it. Just click on the water well, I get some farming experience for that. And now, if I mouse over, it says 20 out of 20. Okay. Um, now, the watering cans, they can be crafted or they can be bought. I think I crafted this one. Yeah, I did. And so, yeah, I crafted the watering can that I have now. Uh, I've got a rake, which is also needed for the island. I've got my soil. Um, and Again, we're going to be looking at this recipe, the small vial of water, because it offers actually that much experience, and that's not counting the double experience. So, counting double, it's 105. So, that's a lot of experience for carpentry, and it's just level 1 carpentry, 100% chance, which I think is all carpentry. And, uh, that's... <laughs> That's actually good advice. Only cook uh, your catches when double experience is active. Uh, let's see. Uncool. What's he asking about? Let's see. 60 cooking. Cooking worth it. Super level. Quest for cooking fish. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's shitty. Because <laughs> I did mention that idea of creating a character with that name just, just so I could show up and be like, ha ha! They'd be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you burn a lot of fish, so when you cook, um, you want to do it during double experience to make up for the fact that you're burning so much. Um, you buy pets from there, we went over the quests, uh, that's where you buy and sell fish. Uh, if you want to sell fish, sell them cooked, they're worth more. That's where you buy bronze, that guy uh, will buy stuff from you, but he does not stock anything. That's the guy that sells magic gear. There's another one over here that sells uh, magic crafting materials, such as cotton cloth. This guy buys leather armor and uh, different uh, red and blue capes. Yeah, there's silk, or sorry, cotton. Cotton, uh, not silk. He buys cotton. Um, yeah. Leather helmet, red cape, blue cape, leather boots, leather gloves, cooked ham, cooked chicken leg, cooked rat meat, tomato. This guy buys all of that. He does not buy anything else, so this will always be blank unless they add more to him. 
um, furnishings. You can sell furnishings there. You can buy fir and oak here, I believe it is. Yeah, oak. Uh, you can also buy another axe if you lose it. Uh, this guy, he buys pets that have been bred, like werewolves or the undead and royal donkey. You can see 7 speed, 9 speed, you can see uh, 7 inventory slots, 5 inventory slots. That's worse than the skill equipped donkeys, which offer up to 16, and those never increase for the Royal and Undead. Uh, you're going to want to buy a rake, you're going to want to buy an island deed. This is for your island. Um, watering can is optional. You'll notice this one only has 10 up there. Uh, you're going to want uh, grass seeds first. Um, you can kill chickens for them, or you can buy them here for two each. Uh, if you sell them here, they're only going to pay you one. Sell them in the market, that guy will offer two at least. You might be able to get three or four for it because it does actually grow into grass and they'll pay up to five coins per grass. So that's not bad. Um, hay and wheat. Uh, again, wheat you can buy here. You can buy cotton seeds, yellow leaf, tomato, wheat, apple tree, uh, I don't know why you want, oh, 60 each, 25, yeah, so that's, that's not bad, it's, um, it's 40 for 25, so anyway, once you buy your deed and you have 35 small vials of water to craft a soil, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and use your island deed. And I'm actually going to remove one of my soils because I don't have anything planted. Now, make a note of how I just did that. I looked at this menu. Remove objects. And at first it was set to ground. Do, 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 do. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Sounds so comfortable, right? Cactus wood bed. Could revolve soul for a second, I swear. <laughs> but all of these items are counted as objects. Walls also. If it's not flooring, like you know, oak wood floor, willow floor, you'll notice it takes a lot of logs to make flooring. If it's not flooring, flooring is counted as ground. If it's not, then it falls under objects. Now, when you're building, you want to build your ship. That lets you visit other players' islands, like mine. You can come visit mine. You can also expand your island. You'll see, I hit provide materials. I'm at a 15 by 15 right now. I can expand it one more, and it'll add a layer there and there. And it doesn't count grass in that measurement. Or, it only counts grass in that measurement. It doesn't count sand. But it's going to cost me a million. I can do it right now, but I really don't feel like it. I could also use moss, but I don't want to do that. And you can change your look. Let's say maybe I want... Wineland Green. But again, costs. So, we want to go to objects. There's also walls. We can build walls. Uh, we can hit all formulas and actually see what everything costs, which... Yikes, some of the stuff. But we just want to see what's available. And you'll notice some of this stuff I can make it, and some of the stuff I can place it, and some I can't do both, but some I can. Like this one, I can make that right now for 105 experience. Because that's, that's pretty good. No? Uh, that is carpentry. Thirty-nine. Let me see if I can get that to forty real quick. Hundred five. Hundred. See, it was five less. Seventy-five. Twenty-five less. So you can see it goes down. But this, since it's the same number of vials, should actually be bumped back up to that number. Now, I didn't actually need any of that, and you'll notice I didn't have the medium or the large vials. They were pulled out of here, which now I have a decent number still, but now I have a little less. So you'll notice it didn't pull this one. 
That's because it doesn't pull from inventory. This menu only goes through your storage. The chest loop, right there. So, uh, that one is from when I removed it. So, if I go to this, take a while, guess what's going to happen? It's not going to pull from my inventory. That's right. There's my soil, still on me. But, if I go in here, you'll notice I actually have one less than I did just a moment ago. So, um, okay, I'm going to equip that and that, and actually, are those favorited? I'm pretty sure those are favorited. <sighs> Come on. Work with me, work with me. Okay, they are favorited. I wanted to check that because I'm going to use my hotkey. Actually, I'm, I won't use the hotkey just yet. All plus. The hotkey will do the exact same thing. I don't store those in my chest. I actually store those in here when I do use them. Or when I don't use them. I mean, when I do use them, I pull them out, obviously. But um, when you first uh, come onto your island, you might sometimes walk up to it and you'll be like, okay, I'm just going to rate this and... Uh, why isn't he doing anything? Oh no, it must be broken. No, look over here. It might, uh, it might only show up looking like this, but what it is, is it's queued. You're in queue mode. You're queuing it. You're lining it up. And some people have the problem where they're going, okay, so I'm just gonna... Hey, I can't move. What's wrong? It's this. That's literally the only thing that's wrong. Now, let's say you do have it like this. How do you start moving? Just hit that. You'll go into active mode, and your guy will start performing the actions. Or, you can go into pause mode. Um, there we go. Pause mode. And you can walk around like that. But of course, you switch back to Q mode and you'll pause again. I set it up like this. Because what I end up doing, I'll pause it for now for the sake of a second, is I go back and forth. Oops. And since I don't need that now, <sighs> okay. So I go into Q mode, and for right now I'm just going to do it like this for the sake of frames per second. But I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I do that going all the way around. And if you count this chest. From here is actually exactly 39 squares. And then from here to this chest is another 39 squares. And another 39 squares. Skipping that one, I finish off that row, come back, do this one, and then I do these two, which you'll notice I skipped right at the start. The reason that I did that is because if I put these two at the and then it will come all the way down here, hit that one, and then run all the way through there, come back and do these two in whatever order I pick, and then I can just go straight into there, grab my rake, go into there, grab my watering can, the whole nine yards. And that allows me to actually get a decent farming cube going. Now, I don't have any seeds, so I don't actually need to do a farming queue. Um, a lot of people ask, what monster should I fight for this combat level? Combat level is not your combat effectiveness. Combat effectiveness is determined by your stats, specifically your modified stats. But your base stats are a big factor in that, because that determines what gear you should play. Now, 
This is the command that you want to use in order to actually see what you can wear. So, let's look at wiki item. Uh, we want skill. And let's say we're looking up armor. Okay, what do I use for level 30 defense? Okay, wiki item skill defense level 30 to 30 is from level A to level B for the skill of this specific type, basically. And then it'll tell us. Okay, level 30. Uh, this is kind of confusing. How about we sort by slot? Okay, we got the right hand. Okay, Peacekeeper, not bad. Enchanted. It has magic block. That means if we fight a monster that has magic, it will cast its spell, but then that spell will deal that much less percent damage to us. So if it would deal 100, it would lose 15 in its power. And that would show in the overall output. Uh, you'll see some of these are enchanted, some are not. It's actually showing all options. But this is only for level 30 to 30. Well, what if there's something that we want that it would be better, but it's not in that range. Okay. Wiki item skill defense level 20 to 40. A lot of people want to know what level 30 gear is when really they should actually be looking at the level 40 <laughs> because um, level 40 actually tends to be better. Um, it's steel, and it's easier to get, it's easier to make, and it's just better overall. You got, let's see, where is it? Well, first, we'll go by armor. Let's just sort by armor real quick. Okay, you know, 35. That's not listed, so that wouldn't be listed in the 30 or the 40. You'd have to search 30 to 40, or just basically include 35. Uh, again, fire shield. That I'm pretty sure is a uh, moss item. Uh, fire lord shield, probably. Uh, we got iron wings. That's 25. That's not bad. Um, but that's enchanted. Behemoth cape. <laughs> that's, that's another good one. Ah, here we go. Armors. Steel plate mail. Okay. Large steel shield. One thing to note. Uh, you have literally accuracy, your power, that's what affects your max damage, and your evasion. It says defense, but it's actually evasion. It's how often the enemy hits you. That is your best defense. Your best defense is never getting hit. So you can see, you can just scroll through, and you can find what you want. Maybe you want something that offers you power. Okay, we got Enchanted Iron Berserker Plate Mail. That's 25 power. The Unenchanted, as we can see, the Unenchanted is 10. Now, here's the difference. Power converts to strength at 2 to 1. Strength converts to max damage at 5 to 1. So for every 10 power, you get 1 max damage. That's 2.5 max damage right there. So if you have... Five more power from somewhere, maybe your jewelry, you're getting that extra point of damage. Just like that. You know? And you can actually right click these items and you can access all the different ways, uh, all the different things to see it. So maybe you want to see, okay, who buys it or who sells it. Nobody buys, or nobody sells Enchanted Iron Berserk Plate Mail, but someone buys it. Cessus Armor Merchant. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't NPC that. That's a very good item. But you know, if nobody is buying it and you really don't want it for whatever reason, maybe you just don't find strength all that useful, um, then you, know, you can sell it to them there. Now, 
one thing I would like to know, I didn't cover this in the last video, but if you go and you grab your uh, without mods loaded, this will not work. Uh, also, never put your item in a cabinet, because your cabinets are only accessible from your island, and the only way to get to your island is from using your island deed. So if you put your island deed in your cabinet, then you're essentially locking yourself out of your island, and you would need to buy another island deed so that you can go back to your cabinet to retrieve your island deed. So that you can get to your island to retrieve your island deed. Waste of 35,000 points. But this trick, I just used my island deed and it came to the sign. It's part of the farming queue mod. Uh, that is a very useful trick on the bigger islands because sometimes you can build yourself into quite a little maze. And maybe you're on like the 7x7 seven seven, and you really don't feel like actually running all the way back to your sign just so that you can use it again. So, um, by the way, you made a silver chunk quest. I did not grab a bunch of two moss because that is a lot of crafting, and I looked it up. I, I didn't remember what it was called, but I remembered it was, uh, it was called Bone Dust something. It was Boots. I remembered it was Boots, but I didn't remember the exact name. It's Bone Dust Boots. Okay, so, let's specifically look at this. Two orc leather and two human bones. Now, I can dig up the human bones. Okay, I really could. Uh, somewhere. It'll tell me. Let's see. Mining. Okay, yeah, I can use. Uh, I need to update that. But I use a spade at a grave. I use it at a grave and I get human bones. Uh, Multi-tool has everything except for three tools. The chisel, mortar and pestle, and the needle and thread. The needle is used for uh, crafting mage gear. The thread is the cloth used when you're making the gear, and that obviously is not included in the tool. Uh, that's separate. Uh, so, you know, Fairly. That's, that's expensive. But then there's this thing, and it says there's an NPC that buys it, but as far as, like, selling it, they don't sell it. So I would actually have to go out and kill a bunch of various creatures in order to actually get them to drop it. You can see, like, 1%, 5%, uh, what's this guy, the Orc King, 10%. Ooh. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Duck work, let's see how much he's got. 5%. Desert work, 10%. Oh, that guy just teleported in. That was a nice little laggy view of the teleport sequence. That was nice. And we're back into Orc King, and he's strongest. And so, yeah, you can sort of... That's useful for, like, if you want to do a combat analysis or something. Uh, I can hit, with my 82 modified strength, I can hit up to 80. So... In order to one-shot creatures, I would actually want something weaker than the Orc Warrior when I'm just running around with my uh, griffin. I'd want something much weaker. Um, another thing I'm going to go over real quick, while I still have time, is the griffin. Okay? A lot of people don't realize just how useful this guy is. Um, you can just uh, wiki mob item griffin. Uh, I can rip. And remember, it's 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 spelled like the family guy griffin, not the mythological creature griffin. Um, griffin in mythology is spelled G R I F F O N, as in Peter Griffin. The I. So, um, yeah, you, know, you can just do this, and you'll see search. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. But you can look at their level, and you can do it that way. You can look at their health. And Faith Baby Griffins, they're nice, because they're good and weak. And all the griffins that drop feathers, not all the ones that do, have a 15% chance. Sharp beaks, not anywhere near as useful, as they're only used in... Uh, Potion of Faith, which is defense and magic. Good for defense mage pures, not very good for much else. But then we've got, um, if we 
look through, you'll actually miss the best creature to fight here is actually the ice baby. Uh, yeah, Ice Baby Griffin offer these staves, which you can sell at AC for all for half price. They offer the beaks, in case you want to do alchemy with them. They offer feathers, again, 15% drop rate, as you can see right there. They offer these ice feathers, which those sell for a lot on uh, market also. These sell for 2,000 each. These sell for, what, I think 5,000? Um, then you have these. Which you can level up, that's what I'm doing. Um, the drop, and this drops, which you can actually use as food in the field. And if you're strong enough, you actually don't really need to bring food, you can just go out there, a bunch of stuff, and come back. Um, this one, you see 0 0.25? 0 0.25. So the feather does not have increased drop rate. Um, the only upgrade, so to speak, is the bronze boots, which isn't much of an upgrade, okay, as you can see. Um, so the ice griffin actually gives worse loot than the ice baby griffin. So these are the guys you want to actually fight. And you can see, it would take about four rounds. Uh, I take a little bit of damage, it takes me about 12 seconds to kill one. Now that's when I'm not wearing anything. It's like one to three. But I can right click it, look at the drops. And that's the other useful thing. You can do that on mobile as well. 78.71%. Okay, let's look at this guy's drops. 78.71%. Boots, beak, feather, ice feather, baby griffin, repeat question, raw pike. So, again, the, like, the more mature ice griffin just drops bronze boots, while the less mature one drops an iron staff. The iron staff is worth more, because you can sell it to an NPC value. Again, you can look at all this in depth, but he's the guy that buys it. He's in Town of Revol, which, um, for those who didn't spot it earlier when we were checking out the map, there's Revol. That's the town. Town of Mark Matt Color. So, you come from Victoria Island, you're arriving in town, come here, you get to 20 defense or 20 strength or 20 accuracy, you have to come over here to Revol, and literally you just, um, that's the Oasis, uh, that is where you mine gold veins, that's the best spot for gold. There's the Jewelry Guild, it doesn't have any veins, it doesn't have a chest, most, most people do not have a chest, um, and quite a bit don't have really the best loot. But some of them are nice. Ah, let's see who this is. I have no idea. Ah, the shitty lobby. So yeah, I should have got the bone gear, I think. He's probably wearing an event set. Um, probably Halloween would be my guess. I think I actually remember having some of so it. It's, it's difficult because it is an event and you gotta do a lot of stuff to actually get the full set, but it's worth it. Um, a lot of these NPCs, they will repeat the tutorial and tutorial. Magic is not repeated. No NP anywhere. Yeah, this is the easy way to get to my my RPG MO playlist for those of you interested. That will actually take you straight to my playlist. Um, I do have a separate uh, tab for whispers. See? Um, let's 
mostly food combos, drop rates, etc. Hmm. Slash R. That's how I typed his name so fast. That's not a cut, that's actually real time. Um, so, um, that guy sells... <laughs> that one's working, that one not so much. <laughs> so, that guy sells, uh, arrows, he'll buy various, like, bows and armors. Um, this guy will sell a door pet teleport. Uh, yeah, see, bronze for arrow, various armors, cover. Uh, when it looks like this, it means they don't... Uh, sell it, they do buy it. <laughs> Triangle says hi, you two. <laughs> oh! I think he means for the kettle. <laughs> I did go with Jerry's cup for a wall breakage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, some people may wonder how to refill the magic uh, pouch. It says one magic slot, but one. For every magic slot you have is 1,000 times that. So if you have two magic slots, it's 1,000 times two. Now that is your upper limit. For example, I have the medium, so I get two. That means I can hold... That's not the thing. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> So, I actually have uh, up to 2,000, and I actually need to see if I need to refill it. I'm just gonna grab like 8 of that one, and 8 of this one. And this is the easiest way to refill your bag. You just you have it equipped, okay, and as you can see, I'm not maxed. I am over the one slot limit of 1,000. Use all my fire missiles. This pouch has only 2,000 of each spell. Use all fire bolt. And again, it says it again. But you'll notice I did go out, so it's not going to waste them. And let's say I feel like emptying my bag. Well, I could just. Okay, where'd they all go? They're right here. All of them. You <laughs> have one. And then I just use all. And you'll see it has all. And it didn't even use all of them. Look at that. That's a lot of spells. Now, let's say I want to end all of it. Cast off. Um, that was supposed to work. Hold on. Maybe I need one. And cast off. Oh, there's, there's a way to do it on... Maybe you're supposed to do it one at a time, but still, you get the idea. Um, and my magic is now recharged. So, there's that. And one more. That's all. Does work. All plus does not. So let's say, well, how does it know the difference? Each pouch apparently does not know the difference. Wow. Okay. Noted. <laughs> the pouches do not know the difference. The firewall wants an update. Okay. 
Anyway, um, so yeah, we accidentally discovered that bug. <laughs> um, you'll notice this hasn't changed. That's because I have, um, <laughs> so anyway, 
Um, we discovered a bug on eggplant. Um, no idea how I get that to constantly stay like that. I think I have to go through that menu to do it. If I remember, that's what IIR stands for, or if I recall. Find out. Level. Do. World 2 or World 8, maybe World 7. Some unusual mining for Caroline. Mm -hmm. Not as fast on mobile. Can't look this stuff up as easy. Um, this is a jewel reel. Okay. <laughs> uh, craft. These turn into three. These turn into three. Yeah, as you can see, it contains nickels. These turn into seven. The ones with wood have seven. Fur and oak. Uh, you can and tin in the jewel reel. You also have copper for whatever reason. Um. So, okay, so it's not looking like this video is going to be posted tonight. It's fine. <laughs> I hope we recorded that.
hour. Please <laughs> ready taste taste speed beans. Accuracy quality. Beans. Temperature. Beans. Waste it. This camera's Nope. It's me for the more. Thank <laughs> you. 